Oh, better do a quick checkup on Stephen Harper's house. This house of remand, immigration, detention, and I don't know, provincial and federal time, provincial time. I guess it was to fill in with the provincial jail because BC Corrections is doing it or Sheriff's Department or whatever the hell they call it. So there you go. And that's um, six kilometers. Uh, <clears throat> west northwest of all over British Columbia. That's the new privatized present built in by uh, PCL. Uh, Plenum Group is the major creditor behind it, and then they're going to uh, run it. run the utility and lease it on top of getting paid 80 million to build it which would probably cover their materials and wages and then I guess they make the profit over the next 80 years of operating it on the lease uh, and getting paid for that per year <clears throat> plus the Indian band gets paid 10 million outright for the first 20 years and then uh, whatever they negotiate for the the balance of 80 so the next 60 and then whatever right so anyhow there you go if it's a radiated green concrete uh, I guess the concrete's dry now but you could always sandblast that off if you needed to it's not like it could uh, do much admission to the inside so you know assuming the inside didn't get all that irradiated smoke from across the belly from the uh, uh, Purple Lake's uh, uranium expression that was on fire just uh, north of Wilson Mountain Fire, the much larger Wilson Mountain Fire. And that's once again just six kilometers north of Oliver on Highway 97, Oliver, BC. Well, there you go, Stephen. Well, uh, I've got some other stuff as I'm constructing it that I'll upload from a little closer, and I'll contact. Plenum and PCL and see if we can't get in there before they turn it over to Corrections BC and Sheriff's Department and Border Patrol and whoever else you got in this mix match and I'll see if I can't do a real job. I had wanted to you know show everyone their nifty building material. Hopefully I put that idea in enough people's mind that some of the workers did that. And we'll get to see what kind of nifty uh, Australian construction went into PCL's contract there. It's a module, modular jail. <clears throat> so I guess you could add on chiefly is the idea and uh, because it's standardized, robotized the place. Which is obviously the direction of all pri the full privatized prison model. Chipped, borged, borged inmates, victims, clients, and Hey, let's get a selfie, guys. We're selfie in the spring. Oh, come on closer, Cindy. Here, here. Oh, oh. Here. Oh, oh, here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there. Don't be shy. Come on, I'm not going to make you guys do a video. We're just out for a walk. And we'll go back to the nuclear proctologist on live stream there, which is uh, Dana Danford from out on the coast and he's doing his 24 hour uh, red hound -a -thon, bark -a -thon, which I've also been going to liberal NDP, well no liberal banned me on Facebook but NDP Facebook, Green Party of Canada Facebook and Justin Trudeau's page on Facebook which is damn near 2 million uh, likes or subs or whatever the hell you call it on Facebook. <clears throat> um, so that's a pretty good asset. Even the um, Scott Kelly, I think his is already up to 100,000 in just like a few days since he started coming back, to, falling back to Earth. Uh, that NASA astronaut, the twin, his brother stayed here and he went up for a year and I think the Russian 
fellas, sorry I haven't got your name down pat. I think it was the same deal. He had a twin too, no? Still waiting for RT to catch up on that. I don't know what the problem is. I guess they're waiting for a new crop of uh, uh, intern students to do work for food kind of thing and learn the trade and get their foot in. Uh, tell me about it all, every, oh, my crew quit. Well, it was pointless. I mean, how could I argue with them? I'd been so badly denetworked uh, since about oh, <clears throat> July 1st or July 4th, 2011. That it's, you know, now it's like 130% of my time would have to go into denetworking just to get my own shit out, let alone making my own shit, so I don't bother anymore. I still show people how to improvise network and keep the critical review going because we're dumping all this and we're going to make our own type of thing using way better technology that's applicable for <coughs> in a modular sense right up to interstellar communications to where you're going to trade your, your creations whether it's a song or a uh, a, a, a treatment for a an HHO rocket uh, to split the fire out the rocket cone and make it burn again and join and split again and burn. Well, there you go. That's the wonders of what you can do. With that's why we invested in YouTube you know, seven, eight years back. That's why I bothered coming on to the internet so profusely at the beginning of the millennium. Not because I wanted to, but because, well, I mean, it was based on our stolen technology. So, uh, let's go with it and let's try and give you guys a chance then. Well, I'm tired. Never. It's, they had the illusion that you could make old-fashioned cheat and gain money. And they fucked it over. They attracted the flies and they laid maggots in everyone's works. All the volunteers fucked off except for a few hardcores and well, we all know that was the beta test. We know the minute it's about money, not about paying yourself for honest work since you can afford to do it and you know, maybe have a little pension when there's like a billion views on your on your Wikipedia pages or whatever, you know. That's that's the shit that's gonna allow people to learn and all that's gonna be downloaded on the high density storage that that's no longer being held back and tied up in fake patent disputes and assassinations and other kinds of mafia government state stuff so you know there's no reason why you can't have everything on the internet and carry it in you know what you do on your car with your CD player in your trunk there <laughs> uh, proper storage is, well, I'll put the cover page maybe, Klaatu's thingy there, like, you know, that what that was, Saturn, the egg wisp, <laughs> the stainless steel egg wisp that uh, they shot out of his hand when he landed on the White House lawn there, yeah, that, that thingy, that was going to show, act like an antenna and to this great wondrous internet. It's not gonna. It, it's not gonna be a cloud thing. It's gonna be where it could be like billions and trillions of entire Vulcan libraries or Homo sapien libraries or whatever in existence. Not one or two that's vulnerable, but you know, like bacteria. Survivability is in the numbers when you're a multi-planet species. Even your knowledge, when there's billions of it, well, you see, you, it's an odds thing, right? As we <coughs> gutless wonders who have our parts missing say, learn to say <coughs> When there's no attrition it's about biologically beating them by the numbers and just planting good seeds by the weeds until you just outgrow the weeds. There we go. There, that's like two <coughs> two videos I've made. The dogs weren't acting in these, they were just Long for the walk. <clears throat> we do not, would not participate in something as insane as the Googleplex anymore. And they keep annexing and swallowing up everything with hollow pyramid block 
stock market scams. So abandon it and go right to the next level that's designed for interplanetary between Earth and Mars and beyond once the rest of the equipment is made. Which also, you know, acts to serve out caravans of supplies and, and ships and everything when you get a lot of this shit built. You know, like your solar sails that you're going to take your Mars cart over to Mars with up out of this atmosphere, or you don't need all of it because they're big. So a lot of it is going to stay there and that's what's going to melt the pole caps and provide you with power and storm mitigation and all kinds of things and mining rays <coughs> to, to melt metals up and do whatever you need to. Uh, you don't have bulldozers, but you can have, you know, a couple hundred thousand of these old <laughs> Mars car carcasses that can still, there's solar cells trapped in Mars Lagarian against where, where you want to focus it, you know, you had to make your sail like that to fly from Earth to Mars, you know, you're going to leave it up there, and that's how you're going to terraform, and that's how you're going to knock out asteroids and, and meteorites until you have a good atmosphere, and uh, even then, and in fact, that's how you do bulliards, you guys are not fit for fusion. Nobody's going to bear the light to you fools, and if you had it, you'd kill yourselves off as soon as you couldn't maintain your created scarcity scams, like you're doing right now, like you did the entire Cold War. I mean, you're, you're a bunch of apathetic apes gaping your tax holes for murderous monkeys who are, you know, melons. Okay, uh, enjoy your effective on Fukushiming Dog's Dead Earth Day and um, look forward to seeing your late arrivals and when you eventually get to uh, network them out. I mean, some of my shit's, you know, years it's been tampered over and parts are taken out and made illegible and voiceovers. And, uh, I was never a partner, so YouTube never by any stretch of the imagination. Nobody ever had a right to do this. Nobody was ever licensed into my... <coughs> Not even my free uh, open use shit. Mine, I mean uh, ours. Uh, mine and the dogs and and, and the kitties. Um, yeah, well, we'll, we'll catch you all on Skycast. Uh, hopefully, at Mars's closest, we'll uh, we'll upload you another, and uh, I'll put the link there on uh, the Mars cart that you can build for about ten thousand dollars. And uh, <clears throat> this is also stuff that you're going to use on Mars. The same technology, and it's 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 really very simple technology, especially when it's mass produced. And this is how you're going to get around on Mars and do all that shit, because there is no roads. And well, seeing how you have it, uh, you, it's all pretty well. I mean, you start it out here, and then you adapt it to Mars. Kind of, you know, it's designed for Mars, and that. That allows you to do whatever all over Siberia, populate it, uh, develop it, do all kinds of things, put out forest fires, you know, send your robot, fuck your robot can do these things, they're, you know, they're solar based, you don't need, you don't need a, a bunch of trillions of dollars worth of, you know, thousands of of uh, microwave transmitters, uh, transceivers that are also radios and uh, you know skycasters to tell for Centauri and stuff. You don't have to have those set up to make this all effective and working. That just makes it more powerful and more efficient. That's a force multiplier to the whole uh, new. Well, it's not. It's an old way of doing things. You can build pyramids if you want with this technology. This very simple, basic relatively safe uh, technology. I mean, it's far safer than you having been born in the light and know how to, you know, act like a star and shit. You'd kill yourselves. Right. If you didn't do that first, you'd kill everything around you and then you'd kill yourselves first. You know, maybe a thousand years of getting it right on Mars and learning this system and as you're starting to move out, I think by the, by the time you actually come across other life worlds, 
and you learn to terraform them and deal with all the problems that bring in like matrixes begats, then uh, then you'll uh, you'll be ready to shake hands and deal with the biological contamination consequences with other life worlds, other greater or lesser species, like Star Trek. But that's, you know, you, you know, it'll take you at least a, million, a thousand years if you got your act together to your, the potential I know is within you homo sapiens. If you just quit with the Borgs and the Zergs, uh, eliminate your xenophobia, get right with your sentient. You know, you don't, you don't take any needless life of any kind. And you, don't, you, know, you don't poison yourself or anything else off. Destroy the life matrix and nuke everything and and war it and use all your surplus to make fake wars and if you do you're gone. You're gone, you're gone. You already know that. You already know most of you have no chance left other than finding a passion and applying yourself and trying it. And I'm I'm extinct. <clears throat> but um, I always considered that there's really only one way to immortality and that's what you can leave the influence you leave behind and who knows maybe somebody will find a way to bring you back whether you're a good dinosaur or a bad dinosaur and you know whatever not bring you back you're gone you're gone once you lose your permit that's the end of you but maybe bring back your your genetic line. <clears throat> May dog have mercy on you all fools. One thing's for sure. I did my fucking best to try and give you all the best the summary of what I knew. The summary of my kind. Alright. Giving you one, one last look. Hopefully we'll see you when Mars is closest. And I'll make you another video if this shit actually gets out. And then um, begin to outline some of the bases. There's a whole package, but you guys aren't getting that until uh, this shit hits the fan and all the people that do have those hard copies of the data now all safely downloaded before it gets all tampered and known, uh, you know, they'll be ready just to advise you locally on what you can do and they'll have all kinds of instructional stuff that you can sit there with your computer and learn what, what, what you were supposed to be doing with your computers. And, um, you know, enjoy your uh, bread and water, prisoners. <clears throat> Don't fuck up. The gutter finished with you. I can't do nothing with them. Barada, Nick 2. Time's up. Probably about 28 years if you don't do no more nukes. And space weather is favorable. <laughs>